Now, David Ujabo. I, for those who follow me on Twitter, I wanted this man on the, I wanted this man on second round, and it happened. I'm so oh my god, I'm so surprised it happened, but it happened. One of the best pick, supposed to be top fifteen as well. He didn't even move anywhere. He let this man fall down to us. He's going to be playing with his friend from high school, Oway. He projected to come back in October. They're going to bring him back real soon, too. But, man, that... It was like what, what OA tweeted out, Adavo tweeted out, it was written, like, God is good. And he's back with his defense coordinator that was with him, that knows how to use him in Michigan. As he called him in the video called Mike Mac. Crazy. That's a what? I can't wait to see him and OA on the field. You can't double block him. It's gonna be sweet. He ooh. I just wanna know what number he's gonna get, cause he ain't getting the real service number. <laughs> but still, that's like what? I still can't believe that man is a Raven. Top 15, end up getting injured. We snatch him up in a second. And I was so, for those of you that didn't watch my live stream with the second day, I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God, when, is he still going to be there? Is he still going to be there? Somebody's going to take him. And we took him. Oh, man. So, ooh, it, uh, he is cold. They say he's still a little raw, but his production is ridiculous. Oh, man. But I, lo I love this pick. I, I really don't have a lot to say. It's already been said. You know what I'm saying? But this pick right here, love it. Love it. A lot of people had him going to us at 14. And it's a trip. The only period player we drafted, they did not have us getting at 14, was Hamilton, and we ended up getting Hamilton. The other two players, they projected us to get them at 14, and we still got them. Later in the rounds and the next day. But yeah, love this pick. I know y'all gotta love it. I know some people, I actually read some people didn't even like this pick. Why y'all pick him up? He's injured. He's this. Do you not understand Miles Jack? When he was coming out, I wanted this dude. But the Ramos was like, mm. he's he, that knee, that knee kind of questionable, and this man end up being a beast. David DeCott said himself, they're not known to draft people that you know, banged up, but you never know. You could be missing out on something because of that thought process, and I believe he's changing that thought process. So, I believe he's going to be a beast. We can wait the time. You know what I'm saying? Because you sit there and be patient. That patience can pay off. And I believe it will with him and always on the field. 100% healthy. We could have what we used to have back in the day with 
Elvis Dumerville and Terrell Suggs, might I say? Thanks to that famous fax machine. You never know. You never know.